Elena has intractable pancreatic necrosis, an extremely rare genetic immune system disorder. The disease surfaces due to stress caused by aging, viruses, or chemical substances. If left untreated, it could cause septicemia, cellular necrosis, and a severe case of pancreatitis. Thankfully, an effective immune suppressant was developed in 2015. So now the disorder can be treated by implanting a high efficiency pump system in the patient. But why do you need another operation? Is the system malfunctioning? Yeah, it's designed to last for 20 years. The antibody has denatured. The medication isn't working. To compensate, the pump's immunity suppressant control chips need to be replaced. And you expected that someone at a remote hospital like this could do it? I wanted to ask Dr. Vaughn to perform the operation, since he already saved me once before. I'm sorry I didn't contact you beforehand. Oh, no need to apologize. You're quite welcome here. Placing the pump unit is no easy task, and tampering with the implanted unit might cause stress and trigger an acute reaction. An inexperienced doctor wouldn't even attempt such an operation. Doctor, we've received a shipment from Concordia. According to the label, it requires refrigeration. I had them send all the materials necessary to perform the operation. Marcy, please refrigerate them at once. The patient appears to be in good condition, but that doesn't mean we have time to spare. Once the preliminary test results are in, we'll need to operate immediately. So it's a difficult operation, huh? Yeah, it'll require some preparation. Oh, are you heading back home, Dr. Blaylock? Oh, hi, Elena. Yes, I am. You're staying here tonight, I assume. Yes. I was hoping to catch a glimpse of the Northern Lights. I see. Well, try to stay warm. By the way, I wanted to ask you about how you became a nurse. It must have been tough. Not only were you young, but you also had your illness to contend with. Well, I was working towards something I really wanted, so I was able to overcome those obstacles. And in the process, I was able to learn more about my condition. But you even received your international nursing license, right? That's amazing. I was grateful to be alive. People are capable of so much when they don't take life for granted. You're really mature for your age. I think you have a great career ahead of you. Thanks. I can't wait to get back to treating patients, as opposed to being one. <laughs> The Northern Lights. It's so beautiful. Yes, it is, isn't it? Elena, let's both do our best during tomorrow's operation. Remain centered. Breathe. Focus. As the stars have taught me, I am one with life. I am one with now. Remain centered. Breathe. Focus. Should have unplugged the phone. Yeah, who is it? Greetings. I'm sorry to disturb you so late, Marcus. Professor Wilkins. I suspected this would be a good time to reach you. It would have been nice if I could have finished meditating. I see you're still dabbling in witchcraft. Well, that's good, because it is precisely that sorcery of yours we must rely on now. Look, I'll perform the surgery on Elena. Just don't expect me to return to Concordia. It seems there's been a misunderstanding. She's not the reason I contacted you, Marcus. There's another patient I'm concerned about. What are you trying to say? Stigma has awakened and I require your assistance. What? Didn't I tell you that it was too dangerous to tamper with? So you don't think you share in any of the responsibility, hmm? Well, don't be ridiculous. It's too late to wash your hands of this. However, there's no reason to let your feelings of guilt torment you. In fact, I have some good news for you. 
The patient I'm referring to is me. Well then, we shall continue this conversation another time. Professor Wilkins has stigma. I can't believe it. You look distracted today. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. If you say so. Just as long as you'll be able to use your healing touch. Well, if all goes as planned, I won't need to. Don't worry, Elena. Everything will be fine. Oh, I'm not worried. Now, about these microchips we're replacing. Well, they went to the trouble of including instructions from the designer himself. So I'll indicate when you should bring them out. Fortunately, his directions are perfectly clear. I'll have to thank Professor Kerensky. The operation is sure to be a success with such a well-prepared team. All right, Elena. I'm gonna begin administering the anesthesia. Okay, I'll try to get some sleep. All right, let's go over this one more time. The objective of this operation is to readjust the pump unit installed in the pancreas. Depending on the condition of the pump, we'll most likely have to change the control chips. There's a high risk that there may be hemorrhaging as a result of the chip exchange. Follow my lead and keep in mind that we may need to make some changes along the way. All right, let's make this an operation to remember. The control chips are ready, doctor. Okay, keep them on hand so they'll be ready when I call for them. Okay, let's begin. We will now begin Ms. Salazar's operation. The implant is in the pancreas. Please perform the laparotomy. This must be the implant. Let's use antibiotic gel. The wounds have been treated, but it's only a matter of time before it ruptures again. We're going to have to replace the implant's control chips. First, we'll have to disable the current chips, then we can exchange them with the new ones. Use the laser. The control chip has been disabled. Use a scalpel to cut. The control chip has been Now insert the new control chip into where the old one used to be. The exchange is complete. We'll repeat this procedure with the rest of the control chips. Chip has been exchanged. Just one more to go. This is the last one. Huh? There's massive hemorrhaging. Use the drain to clear away the blood before continuing. Unbelievable! Another blood pool is formed. Something's not right. Why won't the hem? I have a bad feeling something would go wrong. I guess I have no choice. Remain centered. Breathe. Focus. As the stars have taught me. Now. Okay, I've got some time until it hemorrhages again. I need to continue the operation. The implant's adjustments are complete. Let's treat the remaining wounds here. We're done. The healing touch. Amazing. Mm. Sorry. But I'll have to leave the rest to you. I think I overdid it. Marcus? Hey! Nurse Bloom, get Marcus out of here. I'll handle the rest of the operation. completely drained, Marcus. Is it because you haven't used your gift recently? Yeah, I'm exhausted. How's our patient? I completed the rest of the operation. Her condition's stable now. I'll keep an eye on her, so feel free to get some rest. That sounds good. I'll probably end up freezing to death. I don't understand it. Why would they send someone with your ability to a place like this? 
All right, enough with the sarcasm. No, I'm serious. In fact, I'm a bit envious. Personality aside, I'd love to be you, Marcus. And to have your ability? Don't sell yourself short, Val. What do you mean? You didn't come here for the tropical weather. You came to refine your techniques, to learn the healing touch. But if you've already given up on that, then there's no reason to stay here. Who are you to be judging me? You sulk around here all day like a mistreated dog licking your wounds. Sorry, Val. They didn't come out right. I'm not very good at giving pep talks. All I can think to say is try harder, which isn't very helpful, huh? I'm sorry, too. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. I guess when it comes to interpersonal communication, I'm no Dr. Montgomery, huh? Well, maybe if you pray hard enough, he'll visit you in your dreams and teach you the right way.